Hey all, if you use Confluence, I bet you have a lot of FAQs floating around in there. Uh, with the release of some of the new Atlassian intelligence tools, it'll be a lot quicker to find those in search. But I still find it very, very helpful to have a frequently asked questions or FAQ page for a lot of my more popular topics or pages. I can then direct folks to that page that they can browse through or command find or search for, and that helps answer a ton of questions. It saves my team a lot of time because then they don't have to answer basic questions that are already written down. Now, it does take a bit of change management and expectation setting for your partner teams to go to the FAQ first, but having it is a wonderful resource. So I'm going to show you how I set them up in Confluence to maybe make your life a bit easier too. Here we're looking at a templated benefits page. This could be any page though. It could be a product release. It could be an onboarding document, an IT page. And right now it doesn't have an FAQ. It's just a single flat page. So the first thing I do is I add a child page under it. And it has the same name as the parent with the word FAQ after it. This is the naming structure that I use and it clearly indicates what this page is and what it relates to. And I put it under the parent so it's easy to find and maintain. As more FAQ come in through my chat or my email, my team just comes in here and adds to this or updates it. In here, I'll use one of the header levels, usually header three or four, for each question. Now the reason I do this is because I can build a quick table of contents for this FAQ page and that will list every question so someone can pop in here and just see which questions have been answered. So it's another way of speeding up my customers. I'll make up a couple of questions here. So now that I have a flat list of questions, I might be done. I might just pop up to the top, add my table of contents, and now anyone who comes to the page can quickly browse the questions and I can also link these out. That's another great advantage of the header. I can just copy this link and send someone directly to their answer. But what if I have a ton of questions? And this happens a lot for me. There might be a hundred FAQ in here. This is a, that'll make it a very long list. From there, I have two options. The thing I usually do because my lists don't get very big is I'll just add another header level, maybe header two. And I'll use this to make sections within this page. So I might have a section in here just about general questions. And I might have a need for another specific one about maybe medical questions. From there, I'll just move my questions under the appropriate header. And now when I look at the page, I can link someone to a section or to a specific question, and it visually breaks it up to make it easier to read. This is my usual approach because it gives me a single page that I can now publish, and I can then pull up to the parent. So after I have my FAQ created, I'll go and edit this page. I'm gonna use include page. This will just grab an entire page and stick it right on this one. I want the entire USA Benefits FAQ. And when I look at this page now, I'll just see a mirror image of that FAQ page. This is my preferred way of doing this because I don't have to maintain this FAQ in multiple spots now. I just go down to USA Benefits FAQ and my team will update and maintain this. And anywhere this page is being included will automatically update with that FAQ. Now, there have been cases where I have had hundreds of questions that don't all easily fit on a single page. I don't want my content to be so long, people's eyes glaze over when they look at it. If that's the case, and this is uncommon, I'll have multiple children under the benefits FAQ. So instead of having medical on this page, I would add a whole new page called benefits medical FAQ. And in here, I would add an excerpt. Now an excerpt allows me to grab this information and put it somewhere else on another page. In this case, I'm gonna put it on the parent. So I would add all of my benefits medical FAQ questions here using the same structure I had before. At the top of this page, I'd have a table of contents. And then within the excerpt, I'll have all of my questions as a header level four. Now publishing this page will make it look almost identical to its parent. But the big difference here is I can then pull out just the questions and answers somewhere else. So in the case of a very long list of FAQ, I might have a section under USA Benefits that only shows my medical FAQs. To do that, I would just edit the parent page and insert that excerpt, maybe here under Employee Health. I'll use the Insert Excerpt. I'll have to find the source page, USA Benefits Medical FAQ. And then I can save this. This text can't be edited here. I have to go to that benefits medical FAQ page, but it does allow me to very quickly pull out just a specific subset of questions. I don't do this unless I have a lot of questions 
just because it takes a little bit more time and it's a little bit more complicated. So it's easy to forget how it's set up and someone new to it will be confused. But it also makes this page much more dynamic and makes it easier to pick and choose just what I need. So again, all I've done to do this, I've created a child under the page I want the FAQ on. And I have the FAQ set up as a header level to give me this nice table of contents. And if there's a lot of them, I break them out by subject or subtopic. After that, I just go back up to my parent and I insert the entire page. Usually I put it at the bottom <laughs> and I include it in the table of contents so it's easy to find. But this is how I handle FAQ. Again, that Atlassian intelligence update that will allow natural language searching will make this even more powerful. But I send folks to this benefits FAQ page when they have questions about it. And as new answers come in, I just update that page. And this becomes my source of truth for FAQ. So there you have it. That's how I've figured out how to handle FAQ. But I'm curious how your team does it. What tips or tricks do you use? What setup have you found successful for your group? Leave me a note in the comments. And please like and subscribe to get more stuff just like this. Thanks for watching. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in another one of these soon. <laughs>